Welcome back, Cat5 here. In this video we're going to be going through chapter 2 of the game hacking book and this is going to be the third exercise of uh, the book and this time we're going to be doing some very basic, very simple debugging of this game that you see here on the right of my screen, of your screen, if you're watching it on full screen or whatever. Um, so I'm just going to read through it quickly Grab basic debugging exe, execute at first glance You see that it looks like classic game Pong In this version of Pong the ball is invisible to you when it's on your opponent's screen You can just disable this feature so that you can blah 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 So you see that once the ball passes the halfway point of this particular window It becomes invisible and on the top left is ball hidden And then it reappears when it comes onto our side of the screen So this is the right side of the opponent left side is ours apparently um, so our objective is to disable this feature and have it such that the ball is constantly visible so let's give it a try and give it a try um, it's going to open 32dbg uh, file attach attach and it's going to rerun the program this gets us to use the code really easily and I'm just going to do search for current module string references okay instantly we see it's one of the the second result on the string set string references is ball hidden so if you just come here so what I like to do is I'd just like to backtrace a little bit to see uh, whether there are some conditions and there is a condition here so it compares some value at some address with 140 and it jumps less than and it skip all of this otherwise it will execute all of this and this is where ball hidden is and um, so my guess is that this code, all of this stuff, all these functions will be used to hide the ball on the screen and if it jumps over all of this then it will avoid all of this hiding so what I'm going to do is change this uh, condition so that it um, jumps regardless of what the conditions are and what the flags are set to things like this. So it's going to take an unconditional jump to the address, and yeah, we actually see it. Um, just realized uh, the ball is constantly shown, and that's the task for this exercise done. I think is that it. You don't have to play just heck. and it just shows us some stuff and that's it, that's the end of this chapter so next one we're going to be doing some reconnaissance with Pressmonta and Process Explorer um, see see how that goes uh, but thank you for watching, uh, thank you for tuning in this one's really easy, what I might actually do in another video is probably show how I would do the same thing but if the string wasn't shown and how I'd go about finding the code and because that would be a lot more useful I think because I think it's just made a bit too easy with that string we have to do is string references right there takes you to the code and done uh, anyhow thank you for watching make sure to like comment subscribe and all of that stuff um, <laughs> uh, have a good day and uh, take care